girlies, it's Tammy. I'm back at you with a new video today. I thought I'd come at you with a colourful tutorial today because the last one that I filmed was neutral. I don't know if it's going to be up before this one because they're both unedited at the moment. But um, yeah, the last tutorial I filmed was neutral. So I felt like going in with a bit of colour, a bit of glitter. Um, I did go with a nudie pinky lip, but then I switched it out because... Where is it? I switched it out because I just bought this colour, Roulette by Coloured Rain, and oh my god, oh my god, look at this. And it just happens to go so well with this look, so I decided to pair it together. Um, but obviously, the nudie pink lip is still there as an option. Yeah, so the nude pink nudie pink lip is still there as an option but this is another option for my daredevils like myself who just love makeup love color and love to play in it this is a great look if i say so myself anyways enjoy this tutorial i don't want to keep the intro too long but i hope you enjoy this tutorial please give me a big thumbs up if you do please subscribe if you're not already and i will see you in my next video guys take care bye so of course first I'm going to start with primer because we are going in with quite a lot of colours and then I'm going to set it with a translucent powder so it's not sticky. Then going in with this deep grape colour, like a deep purple colour, I'm going to be placing that on my outer V and a tiny bit into my crease but focusing most of the colour on the outer edge of the eye and blending it into the crease. So once I've blended out the first layer of the purple eyeshadow, I like to go in with a second layer just to make sure that the eyeshadow is still pigmented and vibrant, all of that jazz. Then I'm going to go into my Vice 3 palette by Urban Decay and I'm going to be taking the shade Alien, which is like a frosted pink. And because it is a shimmery shade, I like to spray it with some Fix Plus to get the best out of it so it comes out, you know, more pigmented, more shimmery and more vibrant, of course. And I always pat my shimmery eyeshadows into my eye. I don't blend it like how I did the purple. I always pat it in. Then going back in with the brush I use for the purple, blending out the pink edges. <laughs> And then going in with a second layer of the pink just so it stays intensified because when I blended it, it did lose a bit of its intensity. And when I am blending, I'm using a very light hand so that not much product goes up by the brow bone. Most of it is staying where I put it, but it's just getting blended out, if that makes sense. So I'm not blending too harsh. Then going in with this what would I call this, Marvy purple type of tone, is just to make sure that the pink and the purple don't have a stark um, contrast between them, so it kind of has something to buffer in between them, so it kind of blends nicely together, if that makes sense. Hopefully you can see what I'm doing is going in between the pink and the purple that I've put down, then I'm blending it all together, so it kind of, kind of like an ombre effect, so it goes into the pink from the purple. I mean, it goes into the purple from the pink. And of course I'm going in with some glitter, I'm going to use glitter fix gel and pop the glitter onto the centre of my eye just because I wanted to add something extra to this look. If you're not a glitter person you could leave the eye like this and just throw a nice wing and lashes on but I just like to add a bit extra as always and I'm just putting that glitter onto the centre of the lid. I'm putting quite a lot because um, I want it to stand out. Then I decided to go into my Tartlet palette and add some black into the outer V just because I wanted a bit of darkness in that corner I suppose because the purple just wasn't enough for me but yeah so I'm adding some black there and blending it out but I'm trying my best not to disturb the glitter because I love where I place the glitter. So now that the blending on my eye is to my liking, I'm going to go and focus on the edges of the eye and I'm going to try brush most of the excess eyeshadow out to the edges so that um, when I go in with my concealer or clean up with a makeup wet wipe, then it will just get taken away. So I'm just focusing on blending most of that outwards. Then going in with my NYC liquid liner, I'm just going to create 
a nice top line I'm not gonna do any wing just because I didn't feel like it um, yeah so I'm gonna do that and go in with some mascara as well Now moving on to my face, I'm going to be taking LA Girl Pro Conceal and I always use this concealer with something else. So today I decided to try it by itself to see if it can perform. Um, it is quite, it's not as full coverage, coverage. <laughs> it's not as full coverage as I first thought it was. Um, so I did have to go in with a second layer after I blended it out. But it is a good concealer for the price, but I do prefer to pair it with another concealer like my MAC Pro Longwear or Kevin Aquan. So more, a more high-end concealer really complements this concealer, so if that makes sense to you. But this one by itself is not 100%. It's more like 70 or 80 I would give it out of 100, but yeah. So I'm just placing that under my eyes, my forehead, down my nose, my chin and my keeper's bow. Basically the center of the face, anywhere that the light will naturally hit you. Um, I'm gonna be placing it there and blending it out with my Real Technique sponge. I love this sponge. I literally wanna go grab five, six, seven more. I need more because it does stain and it does tear eventually, but for the price, it doesn't matter. So as you can see me going in with another layer because I didn't like the coverage it gave me there, but if you pair this concealer with another concealer it does amazing or you could just go in with a second layer like I did if you don't mind the extra product on your face. Then going in with my Sasha Buttercup powder I'm going to be pressing this in with the beauty sponge again which I love and I'm going to be placing that everywhere that I highlighted. Now going into contour, I'm going to be taking my Sleek Contour Kit in Dark. I told you guys I was going to switch up my contour um, from City Colour and I decided to use this one. And it is a bit darker, it does give a darker contour than the City Colour one but I did like it. So yeah, this is a great alternative and it's affordable. I believe it's like $4.99 or $5.99 from Superdrug. So grab that if you want to contour affordably <laughs> then going in with my mac studio fix powder i love this powder it just brings everything together it kind of meshes the highlight and the contour and just you know makes you look better <laughs> then i'm going to be taking this big fluffy brush and swiping away any leftover sasha buttercup powder and then i'm going to go in with my sasha buttercup powder and reverse contour i told you in my last video i didn't really like reverse contouring on myself but i decided to give it a try again and i still don't really like it so i think that's going to be the last time i do it i i prefer to just have that bit darker than i do highlighted but anyways moving on i'm going to be taking the same dark purpley grape shade and i'm going to be placing that on my lower lash line and then i'm going to go in with the I believe it's called Last Sin from Urban Decay and the alien shade that I used on my eye and placed that on my inner corner. So it's more of a pinky toned, icy toned highlight to go with the eye rather than a goldy tone. And then I'm just swiping away the reverse contour. I don't think it looks as bad when it's done with a yellow powder, but I just really didn't like it when it was with the neutral set powder. Then going in with some lashes and blush, I'm gonna be taking this bronzy blush from Wet and Wild and my lashes from Lovable Lashes. Check out lovablelashes.org, of course, and I'm just placing that onto my eye. Now going in with some highlight, I'm gonna be using MAC O oh Darling, which I cannot put down recently. I just, I reach for it so often. I'm placing that on my cheeks, under my brow bone, and down my nose. And then I'm gonna take my Sleek Contour Kit in dark, and I'm gonna contour my nose. So now I'm just gonna complete my bottom lash line with some black eyeshadow on the outer edge and also some bottom lash mascara and also some um, gel eyeliner on my waterline. So I'm gonna start with my lips now and I decided to go in with MAC Current Lip Liner 
and I'm just going to be using this to outline my lips. I'm not going to fill in all of my lips because I did want it to stay quite nude when I did apply the lipstick, but I did want it to be a neutral pink. So yeah, and then I'm going in with my City Color City Chic lipstick in the shade cannot remember right now but it will be listed below like everything else and it's just a gorgeous neutral um, nude for people of my skin tone and it is very moisturizing very creamy um, it lasts pretty well obviously it is creamy so it's not gonna be like lasting four or five hours it does wear off but it does last a good amount of time for the price it's super affordable as well and yeah I just love it it looks great with a brown liner as well so however you want to wear this lipstick it looks amazing so now to complete the look, I'm going to clean up my lip with some concealer and spray my face with some MAC Fix Plus just to complete it and set all the powders down. And then I'm going to hit you with the final look. final look girlies I hope you enjoyed this tutorial I love how it turned out with both lips both lips look amazing with the eye look in my opinion I hope you enjoyed this tutorial please give it a thumbs up if you did and hit that subscribe button if you're not subscribed already and I will see you in my next video guys thank you so much for watching take care bye